Hey, dude, on YouTube. Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And, uh, yeah, it is uh, Mexican hot chocolate stout time in the form of Flying Dogs Mexican hot chocolate stout. Um, yeah, never had this before. I'm um, not really even sure what the availability is. It's, uh, what do they call it, a Brew House Rarities release. Um, sent to me by a viewer, Shane. Thank you very much, Shane. Super appreciate the fact that you sent this off to me. Super excited to give it a whirl because, one, I haven't had it, and two, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is my first Flying Dog review. Uh, I've had quite a few of their beers um, throughout my beer-drinking life. Um, just nothing I have ever picked up to review. I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, it's about to change in a couple seconds. Anyway, as far as what it says in the bottle, Flying Dog Brew House Rarities, product of the USA. Mexican hot chocolate stout. Um, it says here, disconnected from the world below, the entire brewery congregates atop a historic overlook, each year to develop beers that shatter the confines of traditional styles. This only precedent lies in a few simple words from the good doctor. Too weird to live, too rare to die, Hunter S. Thompson. Um, drink local beer, 5.7% alcohol by volume. Some kind of code on here, 160A15. I don't know what that means. It's from this year. Who knows? Um, that's pretty much it. Label-wise, it's pretty damn cool. Sketchy all over the place, kind of flying dog-esque labeling that they usually have going on. And yeah, uh, super excited to give it a whirl. Mexican hot chocolate stout. So, just based off the label, because I don't look up anything before I review it, while I look around for a bottle opener. There we go. Um, you're going to expect lactose. You're going to expect a little bit of maybe spiciness, chili heat there. Um, and you're going to expect a little bit of chocolate. So hopefully uh, we get all three there. Pretty damn dark. It's 5.7% alcohol by volume. So it's a lower ABV beer. I'm really interested what kind of flavor profile they kind of get out of this. I mean, you know, you're probably your, your most famous Mexican hot chocolate stout would be your Chocoveza from Stone. Uh, and I love that beer. So hopefully this is uh, as good or even better. Um, a finger and a half of, you know, somewhere between khaki and my, what I like my coffee to look like colored head weird kind of really expansive kind of bubbles going on um it's kind of collapsing pretty damn quick zero tightness whatsoever it had a creamy top but it's dissipating pretty damn quick uh color wise oh uh, it's dark you know it's not the darkest ever it probably poured a little bit darker than i thought it would especially at its abv so i mean it definitely looks like a stout so yeah decent amount of light crazy lights on that sucker 5.7 percent alcohol by volume it's kind of bonkers Anyway, let's see what she smells like. You're getting roasted malt, you're getting roasted chocolate malt. You're getting a little bit of spiciness. A little bit of creaminess there. Almost smelling that lactose. I'm getting everything I want out of that nose. You know? So hey. They're getting it right so far. So yeah, I mean she kinda looks alright. The head's a little bit funky, but she looks the part. She definitely smells the part. Let's see if she tastes the part. Cheers. That's delicious. Ooh. A little weird finish on it, though. First hit me, I got this really nice burst of chocolate and a little bit of chili spiciness. Not anywhere overtly in your face spiciness, but it's definitely there. So you get that chocolate. You get that little bit of spiciness. Very subtle, but it's there. And a little bit of roast malt, and when it starts to finish, you get this almost kind of metallic, maybe even a little stringent kind of finish on it. Strip that finish away from this. This beer would be like a fantastic beer at its ABV, but it's pretty glaring flaw. I did a, I don't know if it's, if they're using a chocolate, if it's all chocolate malt, or if there's a chocolate kind of flavoring added to it. It doesn't really taste like that. The only reason I'm bringing it up is I did a, um, uh, I did another chocolate beer. Don't quote me on this one, but I think it's Arcadia's Coco Loco. 
same thing. It was a chocolate beer, super low ABV, and I got the exact same kind of slightly metallic, excuse me, slightly astringent finish on it. So I don't know if this is, um, if that chocolate in there is, um, is some kind of, I don't want to say chemical or some kind of adjunct. I mean, really, if it's not, if it's not, what am I trying to say? If it's something other than your base ingredients, because really anything beyond base ingredient is an adjunct. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not as a, it's not as offensive probably as I'm making it out to be, and it lessen the more you drink it. Definitely lessen the more you drink it. So it could just be that that first sip was pretty apparent. Now that I'm drinking it more, much less of that bizarro finish on it, which kind of makes it a really wally beer. I want to kind of score it high because of what it's delivering. It's delivering exactly what it's what it's set out to deliver. It's giving me chocolate. It's giving me the ever so slightest bit of lactose. I like a little bump on that one. And it's definitely giving me a nice little spice in this. It's not over the top chili heat that's building uncontrollably. It's kind of sitting back there after you finish and just telling you, hey man, got a little chili heat going on, which is pretty damn cool. And as I stated before, I love fucking chili. So, it's right up my alley. Uh, so yeah, not a bad beer. By any means. Yeah, I'm just not getting that weird finish now. So, it's odd that it's there. It, it was there, not making it up. It seems like something that's kind of, you know, get used to after a couple sips. But, it was there. I wasn't making it up. So, uh, rating-wise, I'm going to give this an 86. 86 overall. If you strip that initial weird finish off of it, I'd probably push this up to a 90 easy just because it, at that such low ABV beer, beer, low ABV uh, of a beer, uh, the, the flavor that it's delivering is exactly on point of what they said it is, which is kind of important for this particular beer. Like a lot of beers, I'll be like, I don't rate on style. <clears throat> so, I mean... If it didn't taste anything like a chocolate, Mexican chocolate stout, but it was a blow me away beer, it still give it a high score. And it wouldn't dock at points. But when you have a, I don't want to say niche, or I don't want to say like gimmicky beer, but you have that thing where you're really going for a specific flavor profile. If they're going to deliver it on the nose, then that's pretty badass. Um, just that initial finish kind of just threw me a little bit. Mm. I'm definitely going to finish it. That's what I say. 86 overall. Uh, value and availability. Never seen it before, and it was sent to me. So I'm going to skip over that whole thing because I have no idea. It could be expensive, it could be cheap, it could be easy to find, it could be rare. So there you go. Uh, if you like what, well, you like this. If you like Joe Vesa, uh, you like this. If you like your chocolate sombrero, if you like things like that, and you want a little bit different of a spin on it, especially at a lower ABV. And like I said, that first sip that I got... Uh, had this weird kind of finish to it, but after the, I would say the second, after the second sip, it's not there, so even though you, it's a little slightly, excuse me, off-putting, initially, once you uh, take a couple sips, it's straight on pretty damn delicious. Um, uh, so there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Um, if you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, massive beers in all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice hot chocolate Mexican stout right now. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>